welcome to my first YouTube channel and video, I should say, actually, uh, and Slayer build. So, just a few things I want to explain that aren't explained in other videos based on settlement. Um, the NPCs are not mapped to walk on catwalks. So, I didn't delete them because I'm hoping they'll patch that in, but as of now, they don't go up to the upper levels, so. I would suggest, if you want them to go up to those other levels, delete the catwalks, or just wait it out. And in the meantime, just have robots or human uh, settlers stay on one floor. It's not that bad. Yes, I have a cow down here, uh, but we'll get to the tour so you can see everything. So as we get in, you see the fountain I built. And uh, this place was really dark, as every other video is showing you and telling you. Um, so I really wanted to make it where you could just look around and see it bright. So just quick glances, you're seeing some of the things. Hey, Sean's here! Wow, it was the first time he's actually been here. Son of a bitch kid. So the first thing I did was uh, built a fountain and then strung it with light. Yes, it's a Brahmin, but it's still a cow. Um, thank you, Piper. All right, so behind these doors, I have the armor work station or weapons. Wow, I'm kind of dumb sometimes. The weapons workbench, and then Piper is doing shit on the armor one. Oh, okay. Again, just try to make it look real with the signage and everything. I sided with the Minutemen because everybody has to say that in their videos. Um, so I use these metal walls as a partition. Um, yes, I have the tent over it, and you'll see what that's all about. So the next part is going to be, I ah, forget, we'll do this room. We're gonna end with that room. That room, and yes, this is such a clever little glitch. Again, rug glitch, but put two dog houses under there. This junkyard dog loves it. I didn't actually recruit him. He's just kind of out of settlement. Put him there. Hey, watch this. Here's his big magic trick. And. Yeah. They do it? Okay, don't. Whatever. So, behind door number three, we have the computer room, which is for robots, but. Yeah, I wanted to make it again very bright, but keep natural shadow, so I think, yes. So it has no pit boy. Pit boy light, pit boy off. So I am trying to give you guys natural light. Um, Buckets workbench, which can't move, obviously. Shut up, monkey bot. This is the first house, which was a later build. Uh, again, this is after I discovered nobody would walk on the catwalks. So we have that bed. And this bed, again, very simple. And if you want to wire uh, at this settlement, get familiar with the, the glitch for putting wires through concrete or walls or whatever. You're going to need it, as this place is very janky in terms of shape. Um, but I will say one other thing. Uh, I free did all these buildings. Now, it's not defense. Some of them look just straight up terrible. I mean, look at that. Look at that scene. That's a terrible scene. But these floor squares, I guess, uh, really helped because you could square up with those lines and these are roughly one by one in terms of these walls so it worked out fairly well now I stole the strobe light idea here from another youtuber uh, again just I like watching videos to see how other people build theirs and see if I can steal something from them yes I steal shit uh, only only stuff I like at least and so I stole that uh, he only did one, and then he put a TV up there, I believe. Shut up. Yeah, he's my monkey boss. Not a racist thing. He just has an actual... No, I'm not. Go away. Um, so yeah, I just like how that makes it look kind of janky and techy. So I'm going to come over here, and... Oh, it's another apartment. Uh, all these doors are apartment doors for me. That's just how I did it. I coded it. Yeah, count how many times there's rugs, because it's very interesting. Again, two more beds, so we can sleep four down here, which is very nice. Um, now, at the end of the video, or throughout the video actually, not the end, well at the end there will be one glitch, but throughout the video there will be another glitch um, that allows us to create new furniture that we didn't think was possible on console. I am obviously playing on a PS3. so. Uh, see, I just lit it up behind there. Again, I have no idea how I put lights back there. I just sort of did, and yeah. I'm going to try to keep my pylons and conduits out of the way. So this is the first real area. This is a public, kind of just 
relaxation zone. And this one I see as a robot den, as everybody does. Everybody was like, oh, I'm going to fill it with robots. And if you want to do that, that's cool. I just noticed it is not that unique. And I just figured, show the light so you can see. Just try to make this a little lounge area. Uh, anyway, but I saw it more as a vault. My own personal, let's do that, vault. So I tried to really lean into that as best I could. Um, yes, this is another thing. Look at this. I believe my um, settlement produces 28 water. Or 24 water. Some number of water. But again, I can show you a, a way to do this. Sound like Porky Pig there. But uh, yeah, I can show you guys a way to do this if you want. Again, if you comment and you're like, how the hell did you put that on concrete? Yeah, it's only with these ones. So we're not going to be able to get purifiers. At least I couldn't figure out a way to get purifier. So again, just trying to give you a pretty decent tour ice machine. Again, just try to give you all the amenities. Now, I'm going to start with the side I... Re oh, yeah, you may have seen something. I blocked off the other ent or exits, so there's only one exit and one entrance. So if you guys spotted it, it's back there, but we will be seeing it. Again, these are the stock. There's a great view, and I love... One, one little thing is, from time to time, on that girder right there, uh, there's like machines that move, which is pretty cool. So, if people did go up here, this is the area known as the condos, and yes, this is how I blocked the doors, I figured. This was the best way, because uh, I was going to do it with a steel wall, but it just didn't work. So, I did it with light boxes, because it looked better. So I did it that way. Uh, anyway. Next thing, sorry, I'm just multitasking. Open the door. This is Sean's room. Now, I'm going to ignore what's in that corner at, at the end of the condominium tour. So, of course, I just try to give Sean a little bit of cool stuff. So, I put all like kind of kitty stuff in there. And models and crap. And the Your Special book. Give him a Minutemen flag, a television, and a bed. Pretty simple. Next one. Again, very small, but normal looking apartment. The third door. Again, another apartment. Oh my god. But this one also has a TV. So I do try and uniqueify, which is not a word, but I'm gonna try and try and make each one a unique. So this one is not apartment, but it is my power armor station. And this is a build of a power armor that I wanted to do for a while, and then I finally found a full X01 suit in this DLC. And what it entails is a four-eyed shark. So you can see two eyes and two eyes. Four-eyed shark. Um so it's not like a, a paint job, just if you have the hot rod thing. Got to be the X01 arms, and then any of the other bodies, you can do the four-eyed shark. But again, I had it where just looking out over the city, looking over my city, my vault. I'm going to close that door. Now, saving this. This is a glitch. This, this is how I put monitors on a desk. And it's not the TV. It is... Boom. I'm a scalpel. I will take that. But what I did was I stacked 11 rugs. I believe 10 is for exact. I didn't know that. This was the first one I did it on. I did it on another one. And yeah, it does work. See, this we can just test. It works. It's, it's again, with the, with the glitch. You can see right there with the glitch. It works. And this is the gaming computer for Sean. So he has that. He also has a basketball net. Oh, I forgot to tell you. But. Yeah, so we pu I put the terminal on, quote-unquote, the desk, which is really awesome, because I didn't think I would be able to do that. Rug glitches, man. Um, but yeah, again, if you want a clear little short video on how I did it, I can definitely redo it once I buy materials, because my guy's broke. So, again, I'm going to look down just so I don't spoil it, because it's all... Cages. I think delete the cages. I don't get why anybody would, because we can't build the security fences from the new DLC. But yeah, so I did it again here. And that one's actually perfect. I believe that one's ten rugs. But yes, I did what everyone does. I kept the cage and made it a police station. Wow, super unique, creative, but not really. And then I put the cages here. And yeah, well, that doesn't look hyper, you know, 
realistic. Uh, gets the job done. So again, I put the bench in it just because I was like, eh, what kind of looks like a jail thing. That does. Yay. Again, try to shoot, shoot stuff that you kind of find. And, I, and again, this one does work. I just wanted to test, show you guys it does work. And since they're tied into the circuit, they will turn on. I can have them flicker. Or I can turn off all of them or whatever. But I don't know why I'd want to. So just try to make it feel industrial. And this is kind of my bedroom. So this is my apartment. And I romance Piper. So it's mine and Piper's. But again, neither of us come up. Well, I do. But she can't. Uh, that's my fast travel mat. Welcome. Thank you. That was very nice. Put some of the art up. Uh, for the most part, I tried to just make it simple. Thank you, Piper. <clears throat> so I looked the hell out of this place, as you can see, and they're not perfectly level. <gasps> but whatever. Um, so yeah, you can sit down, look out over the city. I turned the radio off to not get a strike. Oh, uh, even though it's my first video. Um, and yeah, this is another little thing. I don't see more. I'm surprised. There's no double bed. So, yeah, I made a double bed. So, men or, you know, if you're, if you're a male character or female character, you can actually sleep with somebody you romanced at a settlement they're at. Again, kind of seems like common sense. And these are actually the spiked poles. Uh, they tend to do this, like, elongation glitch if you put them inside. I don't know why, but I just felt that made it look a little cooler. Oh my god, Piper, seriously. I love her, but, like, she's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so, we're gonna get to the final glitch, and... and room. So, just let you know. It is gonna be a quick little tour. It's my first video, so I am stuttering a lot. Didn't do shit here. But, the last room, again, these are at every exit, except for the one we came in, which is there. So, it was very cool. Very nice doing it. If you want to know how to do these, it's five high, six wide. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six wide by three. So you need 30. Um, oh, my bad. I don't know why I did that. Um, but yeah, so 30, so max 30 power, which I believe there's five exits if you want to keep just the back one open or if you want to keep one open. And that's five exits times 30. That's 150 power minimal. I only did 10 because I lit up an X. So I have 53 power. I believe, or 56 power, because of the terminals um, powering the place. So this is the bathroom. So what we're going to do, ah, I forgot how this door opened. So that's the men's bathroom, the men's toilet. I couldn't put a divider here because I had to put a roof. All the other ones don't have roofs, as you can kind of see. I'm going to come back in here to show you. See, no roof. Ah. But the bathroom kind of needed it. So I'm going to, again, walk in a certain way, because the thing is right here when I'm, when I'm stepping by. Oh, shit. Spoilers. Um, but yeah. So this is the men's one, they're, they're filthy. They are filthy. Nick just sprayed oil all over it, and then that's Piper's and um, Kate's, that's her name. We have the tub. This one is also voiced by CeeLo Green. Uh, and finally, um, there's no sinks. So what I always used to do is use the container, and I'll show you which container I kind of used. I don't have any supplies, as you can see. Uh, when I do this, furniture, containers. I used to use this one because it kind of looks the most like a sink. It's like, it would be awesome being able to combine that with this. And that got me thinking. I actually did this glitch before I did the computer glitch. However, I'm going to show you it last because I think it is a very cool little thing for those who enjoy building. Settlements much like this will be. But goddamn, how had nobody thought of this? And again, I left most of this stock. And. You can delete these lights. I'm ADD, but yes. Anyway, I built a sink. I I used the end table. It was like a box. It sunk into the ground a little bit more. If you can kind of see that. My light was on. I fucking suck. But yeah, um, there's only one real glitch with how close I put it to the wall, and I do regret it. If I use it, my character stands like back here, and I can't get out. So, problem, but yeah. That is how I did the tour. Wow, that's how I did the tour, and that's how I built it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or gifts, uh, leave them in the little area down below. And I don't really want to, you know, press you guys, but hey, if you liked how I built them, I have a few other settlements that are 
fully done. Some that need to definitely be started. So I can start um, some build series if you want. Again, just let me know down below. And if you want to see how I did those glitches, just for clarification, I will because uh, they definitely helped. And I will do a quick little blurb. Yes, I used the no respawns uh, clipping method in terms of the rug glitch. And yes, he is right, it still works. Um, not that anyone's going to listen to me. And my one sub, I believe. Uh, so, anyways, thank you guys, and I will see you later on.